Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Today I would like to explaining about basic fundamentals of the heat treatment process. So basically the properties of the metals and alloys are depending upon its internal structure. Equilibrium diagrams predicts the equilibrium structure which we are able to get by solidifications of the liquid metals or an alloy under the equilibrium conditions. So in that equilibrium conditions refers to a very slow coolings. So during the under the non equilibrium conditions can be changed the microstructures and hence we can alter the mechanical properties of the metals or you can say hello. So this alteration into the properties can be achieved only by the heat treatment process. So just you can see the standard definition of heat treatment process. So heat treatment process can be defined as a combination of the heating and cooling. So here into the heat treatment process most important part. So heating is important as well as cooling. So how much temperature you should heat and which kind of cooling rate you should maintaining to enhancing the mechanical properties into the steel structure. So that is nothing but a combination of heating and cooling operations in a solid state for the specific required structure. So that specific solid state or you can say the 100% solid phase of the steel portions. So that will be nothing but our austenite phase we already discussing into the iron carbon diagram into the steel category. So what happens? In the solid state for the specific required structure and the properties or a combination of the properties for the specific applications. So as per the my requirements of the products I would like to control, controlling the heating and uh, cooling operations. Then and then I would get the mechanical property as per the my requirements. So in simple way heat treatment process that will be the combination of heating and cooling. So all the basic heat treatment processes of the steels that involves the transformation or you can say decompositions of the austenite. So this austenite it will be having a different cooling rate so it will be converting into the different phase and this different phase it will be having a different properties. So let's see the basic heat treatment cycle. So for better understanding of the various stages of the heat treatment process, so that will be the representation onto the graphs. So let's say, so this x axis that will be representation of time and this y axis that will be the representation of the temperature. So what happens for the first steps and that will be the stage number one. So in this stage, the heating of the metals or you can say alloys. So that will be doing by the heating process. So that will be the essential conditions at the specific temperature range. So that will be the predefining according to the weight percentage of the carbons or you can say compositions. So you should define the heating. So that will be the stage number one. After this stage there will be the second stage and that will be the important stage into the heat treatment process. So into the second stage the heating of the materials up to the certain temperature suppose that will be the range of the temperature at Ta. So once you fix as per your compositions the heating up to the Ta temperature then after there will be the second stage. So this stage that will be you should maintaining your temperature stable. So up to the certain time limits it will be your shocking period. Or in simple way it will be your holding time. So shocking time or you can say holding times that will be the constant temperature process. You should maintaining your materials at this temperature range. So that will be the stage number 2. So up to this time it will be the heating. Up to the this time limit it will be the shocking. Then after the important one and that will be the 
cooling process. So cooling process into your third stage. So that will be considering as a final stage or you can say stage number 3. So here is the material that will be cooled from the predefined rate to the final microstructure as per the my requirements. So that will be the general phenomenal about the heat treatment process or you can say heat treatment of the cycles. So as per the compositions and required properties that will be first heating, then shocking, then different kind of coolings. So basically if you want to increase or enhancing the mechanical properties of the steel structure, so you should follow such kind of basic process of the heating, holding and with different cooling you will get the different mechanical properties. So with the controlling of the different cooling rate, so you should make a different kind of structures into the materials and if structures is going to be changed and its properties it will be also changed. So as per the my requirements of the properties at the specific applications, I would like to follow such kind of cooling rate. So I hope you understand the basic heat treatment cycles. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.